Good evening all, welcome to a lesson on the tangent line and applying the 30% way to work out cue ball control. Basic principles you must know. First of all you need to know to play the stun shot. As you've seen I just stopped the cue ball dead on a long pot. It's got no top spin on it, just enough back spin on it so it's skidding to stop where the cue ball is. That's how you can play along the tangent line must play a stun shot for it to go down the tangent line that I'm showing right now. This is a 90 degree angle so just playing a stun shot will take you down the path of the tangent line straight down the middle of the table. Okay now the 30% rule which I'll show you how to use with your hand so you can predict when you play a top spin. So this is a method I use to be able to predict where the cue ball is going. So top spin going down, even if you hit it soft. Okay, now using your two fingers next to your thumb, make three pies, spread them apart in a V shape, and now you can predict how you're going to play a stun screw shot. Goes down to the first tangent line, soft stun screw into the second tangent line and a screw shot to go into the next tangent line. Okay, using the tangent line to avoid sinking the cue ball. Okay, to find out if the in-off is on, use a ghost ball, line it up to the contact point. First, this will help you find the tangent line. Then the gap between the two balls at 90 degrees, that's the tangent line. So if you play a stun shot and pot that ball, you will sink the cue ball as well. So I'll just show you that this goes straight along the tangent line. If you play the stun shot. Okay, so now we know by playing the stun shot, we go straight in off because that goes naturally on the tangent line. So now we're going to play top spin to go under the tangent line and hit before the tangent line. So now using the pi 30% rule, you know you'll go in along that area just under the tangent line. Okay, so top spin to go under the tangent line is how to avoid the in off. So just playing top spin, as you can see, didn't go along the tangent line. So now Okay, here's another shot. We want to find out how to see if it's an in-off or not. So let's find our tangent line. Use the ghost ball again to line up exactly where you would aim as if you were going to pot it. Line the ghost ball up. And now let's see where the gap between the balls line up. The tangent line's pointing straight at the pocket. So that tells us if we play a stun shot the cue ball will go along the tangent line and sink the cue ball too. So, okay, so we know if we play top spin, we miss the in-off now. We go below the tangent line. Now we want to go above the tangent line. Okay, so we know stun goes in-off. So we want to go up high. So we use the 30% rule to go above the tangent line. So use a ghost ball again. To find the tangent line, the gap between the two balls is lined up to the pocket. Okay, there's your 30% rule for top spin. Then there's your stun shot, straight in off. And now we want to find to go up above, so we use the 30% rule to go up above the tangent line. Okay, play a stun screw shot to go above the tangent line or hit low on the cue ball to get higher on the tangent line. Okay, now we have a thinner angle. So now here's the tangent line still stays the same. Use the pie two fingers again for your 30% rule to go below the tangent line. As you can see, 30% rule. So it'll go just towards where my cue was. 
or just inside that so we know where the cue ball is going so top spin nice and easy along the tangent line but take an account with pace if you hit the cue ball hard it'll stay along the tangent line longer and throw the cue ball wider so this you have to take into account the pace that you're playing in the shot so as you'll see this will go wider than the last one because I played it with more power okay remember pace comes into account so hopefully you enjoyed this video so watch this one to finish up goes down the tangent line and stays on there longer thanks for watching see you soon